to my kitchen once again. Today I'll be showing you all a very easy peasy recipe of chocolate and nut fudge. It's super simple to make with just three ingredients and can be best served on any occasion or you can just gift it to your friends. So let's quickly start. We'll be needing 200 grams of good quality dark chocolate. 150 ml of condensed milk. This is homemade condensed milk. Uh, recipe you'll find it on my blog. I'll mention the link below in the description box as well. Some roughly chopped dry fruits or nuts. Here I've taken almonds, walnuts and raisin. You can take any uh, nut of your choice. Here I've taken a loaf tin uh, because I want my fudge pieces to be a little thick like square pieces and on the top of it I'm going to place a parchment paper or a butter paper uh, make sure you leave some sides uh, of the butter paper because it will be easy once your fudge is set it will be easy for you to just pick it up like this so let's start now so first of all I'm going to uh, break these pieces into small pieces like this you can also grate the chocolate if you want so here I have broken all the chocolate pieces and now I am going to keep it into the microwave for one and a half minutes but make sure that after every 30 seconds you take the bowl out and stir it because chocolate has a tendency to burn very fast so just make sure you keep an eye on to the microwave uh, while uh, just cooking it and always stir after 30 seconds. So as you can see my chocolate is nicely melted. Now I'm going to take my condensed milk and I'm going to warm it into the microwave. So my condensed milk is warm now and my chocolate is melted. Now I'm going to mix all the three ingredients together. So in a bowl first of all I'm going to take the chocolate. Now to this I'm going to add the condensed milk. mix it a bit now to this I'm going to add the nuts you can always adjust the amount of uh, nuts as per your choice I haven't added if you want at this point you can always add two to three tablespoons of peanut butter as well it is going to taste awesome but right now I'm just making it with these three ingredients only uh, and now I'm going to pop it into the tin. So here is my tin. And I'm going to put this. And now with the help of a small spatula or a spoon, just level it a bit. So I've leveled it and now I'm going to keep it into the refrigerator for at least 1 to 2 hours so that it sets nicely and then I'm going to cut it into the pieces. So the fudge was into the fridge for one hour and now I have taken it out and I will cut it into pieces. I will just pick it up like this and put it on a chopping bowl. I have just flipped over the uh, bar and now I am going to mark. I don't want very big pieces. So I will make four. If you want uh, very neat pieces, just wipe over your uh, knife with a paper kitchen towel. And now the final cuts. Again, I'm going to wipe up. So they are ready now and as you can see uh, they are just beautiful. Uh, I am loving the nuts in between them and uh, the gooeyness and all. So let's uh, have a taste. So our chocolate fudge is completely ready. Let me have a bite. I can't resist. Mm. Amazing. It's gooey, it's chocolatey, it's nutty. I am sure you are going to love it. So if you liked my video, please do share it with your friends and family. 
Also, please do subscribe my YouTube channel. It's completely free. You'll just get a notification on your email whenever I'm going to upload a new video. For the daily updates and the daily tips, visit my Facebook page. And for the written recipe, visit my blog. I'll mention all the links below in the description box. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon with a new recipe. Till then, bye-bye.